All right, so this is kind of an odd thing, something you're not going to see too often. This is a game which I wrote back in high school, about 33 years ago, I think, uh, on my old Mac Plus that I had growing up. And I hadn't really thought, you know, I uploaded it to a few BBSs back then, released it as, um, you know, free software, basically. Didn't really think much about it. The other day I was talking with a friend about pixel art and making games. And I thought back about, you know, some of the old stuff I'd done in high school. And just on the random off chance, I went looking around some, some old software archive sites. And I found somebody had actually somehow saved this game that I wrote. Astonishingly. And I'm just mostly amazed that after 33 years, this non-commercially released game that I uploaded to a few random EBSs was somehow saved. And then I thought, hey, let's see if I can still play it. Took a little bit to find a working Mac Plus emulator and figuring out how to actually translate the downloaded image file into something it would accept. But now I have it, and here it is. So let's give it a try. Now, my brother, Scott, did most of the art. Here we have the opening cinematic, uh, radioactive waste on a ship that gets sunk in a storm. My brother, Scott, did most of this pixel art. I did all of the coding and much of the sound work. And here we have the splash page, Crab Attack 2, with the animated background. Yes, I'm streaming. All right. Andrew Lindsay and Scott Lindsay. So now, what does info do? Ah, just tells you the story. Battleship. I don't know why a battleship was carrying radioactive waste. They don't carry radioactive waste on battleships. Yeah, we got all fancy in this. Oh, okay. Instructions are all straightforward. I mean, oh, there's, you can switch between, we have multiple weapons? I forgot we had multiple weapons. Oh, and this has my uh, yeah, this is my old address that I grew up in. Don't go to that address. I don't live there anymore. Oh wow! Oh, we got fancy. I forgot about this. All right, now let's see what the game is like. It's basically a centipede clone. You know, you're at the bottom of the screen. If stuff comes out from the top, you've got to shoot it. And between each war, before each wave, the water comes down, rushing over the beach, and then it goes back up and deposits all the crabs and stuff. And it takes forever. All right, and we're live. We're good. We just got to shoot the crabs. I shot all the crabs, and now a boss monster comes on the screen. This boss monster is really easy to fight. First one. And now the next wave. was 16 year old 16 years old and my brother was 18 when we made this i'm pretty sure it was programmed in c and now we start to get other monsters in addition to the crabs they take multiple shots to kill but still not that hard of a game Now the crabs start dodging after a while. 
Make sure to get that move. Alright, what's the second boss? Ooh, the giant lobster. Ah, that's funny. You can't you gotta be careful when you shoot it, because you hit it on the claws, they're laser proof. There we go, and it's dead. Yeah, we this is better than I remembered. We, I actually put a lot of work into this. You know, Scott did too with the graphics. And it's a shame that the source code is obviously long gone. Now there's more little special enemies. Oh man, this game is actually kind of hard. Yeah, I might not survive this. Ah, crap, they're getting... Ah, and I'm dead. <laughs> it has a high score function. Uh, where's the mouse? Oh. Okay. No, there's no practical way to... to decompile or reverse engineer this. This game is harder than I remember. I, there are, I think, a total of 16 levels in this. I remember when I was 16, I used to be able to win this game easily. Yeah, I could, I'm pretty sure I could reprogram this again in a week on a modern computer or in color and such, but, you know, it, it took me months to do this when I was a teenager. Yeah, I'm going to try and get all the way through this game fight, but I don't know if I'll be able to do this because I no longer have the reflexes of a 16-year-old. Oh, there's a fiddler crab. I forgot these two up occasionally, randomly. Yeah, I've forgotten how much we put into how many different kind of enemies they are and different random events and such. All right. All right I, re I wrote a bunch of games in high school, but this was the only one that was really good enough that I felt felt like it was worth actually releasing as shareware. So obviously anything everything else I wrote is long gone. You know, all. Lobsters next. Got to shoot it right between the eyes, because that's the only soft spot. There we go. I die. Uh, uh, not sure if I can get past that level. All right, I'm going to try this once more. All 
Back when I was 16, I could get through every level on this, no problem. But I'm not 16 anymore. It's also kind of uh, punishing in that you only get one life. You know, you get multiple, you get energy so you can survive multiple things getting to the bottom, but once you die, it's over, which is kind of unfair in retrospect. Bosses are pretty easy. There were some hard bosses later on in the game. These ones are pretty easy. All right, let's see. We can actually get past this level this time. that thing. Oh, wow. Okay, so apparently they're exploding crabs. All right, made it through this. Oh, and now here's, okay, this happens at the end of each beach. These things come down from the top, and you got to dodge them all. Oops, all right. Yep, each one completed. And now I've got a, oh, I do get a reserve level life at the end of each beach. Oh, and the seaweed and everything looks different. I forgot we did that too. We put a lot more work into this game than I remember. So now I got the grenade launcher, which is a big help. Possibly too big of a help. has limited shells, but I can kill these things before they get near the bottom. Ah, uh, well, there's too many of them. Ah. Uh, well, I get an extra life now, so... And it's also tricky because the crabs actually dodge when they sense I'm aiming directly at them. It makes it hard to get a bunch of them at once with the grenade launcher. Okay, what's the next boss? 
Oh, crap, squid. I can't shoot them, I just have to dodge. All right. Yeah, most of the better pixel art on this was done by Scott. You know, I did a lot of the basic stuff with the seaweed and the crabs and the things. And then Scott did a lot of the bigger animations for stuff like the bosses. And what the heck is that thing? Oh crap, there's too many of them. Too many of them. Ah, one more hit and I'm dead. Ah, there I go. Huh. It made it to level five. All right, gonna try once more. There was a crab attack one. It was very simple, and it was basically just the crabs, and you could shoot them, and that was pretty much it. Oh, okay, that was done with me. And crab attack one, I believe, was written in Pascal, and then crab attack two was done from scratch in C. And crab attack one was also done entirely by myself. Crab attack two was where my brother got interested and started, you know, doing the graphics for the boss monsters. And Crab Attack 1 was never released into any uh, public shareware sites, so it's also long gone, but it also was not that good, really. Didn't have a lot of the graphical polish. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that I did not save, like, any of my source material or disks or other software experiments from those days. I would have all been on early Macintosh stuff anyway, though, but, yeah, so I was, I'm amazed this game still exists, that somebody actually put it on a, yeah. What? My game is on the cutting room floor. How? All right, I'll take a look at that later. Was this bizarre little game more popular than I realized? I mean, I basically just uploaded it and forgot about it. Never made anything off it either. All right, I have to take a look at that because
Uh, this is where I usually die. Come on, come on, come on. Almost through. Uh, all right, now I just gotta dodge the thingies. Ah, crap. It got me. All right, gonna try this once more to see if I can get to the second beach again. Yeah, the sound effects were a mixture of stuff I did and stuff my brother did. I don't remember which who was responsible for which. is actually more fun than I remember. We actually put together a pretty good game. As you notice by the fact that I keep playing it. This boss kind of this boss kind of sucks though. Really pretty easy to kill. Yeah, Crab Attack 1 started as was basically just a centipede clone. And then for this one, we added in the train and the boss monsters and a lot of the different phases and such. Yeah, I probably could recreate this, an actual better version of it, pretty easily these days if I wanted to. dodging behavior that really gets me, because if a crab, we actually did code in some AI that if a crab sees that you're directly underneath it, it'll start jumping backwards and randomly away from you. Makes them harder to hit. All right, these thingies, this shouldn't be too hard. Just gotta focus. Focus. Okay, there we go.
Come on, you. See what I mean about the dodging? There we go. And now the squids. Oh, crap. Now it's right. Yep, starts me back against these guys. At least it refills my shells every time I die. Okay. Wow, at least one person remembered it. Okay, I'll have to take a look at that. It's had more impact than I thought. Okay, let's see if I can get through this wave. I think I'm done for tonight. But that was a nice bit of nostalgia and nice bit of realizing this game. We put a lot more into this game than I remembered. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up some of those links you found, though. That's kind of surprising that really anyone's played this. Maybe I will do a uh, 33 year later sequel. But anyway, thank you for. Um, Watching along as I played this, I'm going to be logging out now. So. so thank you for sharing the trip down memory lane with me, and good night.